The Heritage Committee, the member of council on the Heritage Committee is Doug Lohey, who, uh, who was here for most of the day, had to leave. Uh, but he, on behalf of the committee, is working hard with council to expand the, the programs. Uh, he knows that people with heritage properties, whether they're in the Cookstown area or anywhere else in the, uh, in the town, need help and deserve help. And so there, there was a bylaw that was drafted some time ago and it got pushed off to, to staff to look at and kind of got forgotten. That bylaw is going to be reactivated or that suggestion is going to be reactivated and, uh, and other suggestions taken from other communities that give incentives is going to be brought before council with recommendations. So the Heritage Committee is going to be involved in trying to get more money for people with heritage properties. No promises, but I think uh, I, this is the start of it. This is the way things get, get done, I think. So uh, I'm just putting that out there for the future. What we For just one thing, the Canadian Association of Heritage Professionals online has a list of qualified people in certain fields. It's not exhaustive, but there are, if you need somebody that knows about copper work, but if you go to the Canadian Association of Heritage Professionals, you can often find people in different areas. That's right. The internet is wonderful for this kind of thing, isn't it? And, uh, and there are a lot of good websites and uh, government sponsored and other websites. That, uh, let, let me just outline the, the other part of the, uh, um, uh, of the grant process, how that's going to work. Um, so we're calling that the, the Advice and Incentive Program, AIP. So the Inspiring Interval Grant included funds to be used uh, to assist Cookstown property owners to plan successful renovations or additions in their property that will comply with the CHCD guidelines and will add to the heritage appeal of the village. This is a share cost program, so it, <coughs> it, it means that it's not necessarily going to be right. It's not going to pay all these costs, but it will pay part of them. Uh, to apply for the grant, you should send an email to Cookstown Chamber of Commerce, chat committee. The chat committee is, is, is the uh, Cookstown Heritage Action Team, which is me and some helpers. And, uh, and I, I, I didn't want to call it another committee because I don't, you know, we've got enough committees. We need, we need some action on this. And so, and we're part of the Chamber of Commerce now. So if you send it to the uh, Chamber website or to my website, simply outline what you're planning to do. We will then assess who best can supply the help you're asking for and what the cost of that help is going to be. And I'm going to be a little bit vague because we're going to talk to several people. We've talked to some already. Uh, some of the presenters here are probably going to be involved in it. <coughs> uh, but I want some flexibility. I, you know, I want to be able to bring other people in depending on what requests we get and a portion of the cost we, we will cover. So uh, what we'll do, we will assess the best supplier of the help you're asking for and what the cost is. We'll get, a, get a, a, an estimate or a quote on, on the cost. We'll then uh, convey this information back to you uh, with a portion of the cost that we will cover. So we've got some flexibility in how we're going to use these funds. Each application will be dealt with on its own merits on a first come, first serve basis. Uh, the program may be altered. We may be add other. Will it's a bit of a working process, uh, and and, it, and and we may change it, uh, or we reserve the right to do that. Uh, and we'll offer the program as long as we've got the funds from the grant uh, in, to administer in this way, and so. Uh, when the funds are gone, they're, they're gone. But what we're trying to do is, is encourage people to do renovations, additions, to, to get advice on even what color maybe would be appropriate. Uh, they're going to repaint the outside of their house. What, what do you suggest? Or who, who could 
come up with a suggestion. There may be no cost involved in doing that, or I'm planning to um, add a garage. This is what my house looks like. Is there somebody who could uh, give me an idea of what's possible? I want to add a porch on, something like that. And th there's lots of reference materials available, and uh, we'll be in touch with people who can provide that for you. And uh, so it's not helping pay for the, the renovation or the addition or, or what you're trying to do, but it's, it's paying for some advice that you may need in order to make it a good and a, a successful. So we want to see things start to happen. And if we can help with a little bit of this grant money, uh, it's, it's seed money in a way to get things moving. So, uh, you know, I, I've purposely been a bit vague on it. I, I hope you've enjoyed it today. We've had a variety of uh, different aspects and angles looking at heritage. The, the speakers have been just wonderful, haven't they? Thank you. Uh, the speakers are all volunteers. <laughs> they're, they're, they're not getting paid for, uh, for coming to speak with us. So, so we have some little gifts. Uh, which include uh, one of the books, Memories of Cookstown, or, or the other book, and, uh, and a little selection of uh, Dicky B products, uh, a local uh, uh, Cookstown company who produces some really delicious uh, honey products. Roger has been, like, I don't, like, he doesn't get paid to do this, he just took this on all by himself. People came together, Diana from the President of the Chamber of Commerce and Kathy and people from the town came together, but Roger just did this. So thank you so much. Well, thank you. well uh, you know, I, I love lo listening, uh, living in Cookstown. Um, you know, I made some really good friends here and uh, uh, I, I just want Cookstown to do well. Um, I, you know, I've done this kind of thing through my career, and so it does come fairly easily, and I love doing it. So, it's my pleasure. Uh, and my last job here is some thank yous. So I, I like to thank the, like the, the Oscars or the Emmys. <laughs> anyway, the Heritage Committee, huge uh, support in doing this, and, uh, and I couldn't have done it without their support. The inspiring Innisfil grant program and the people that administered that uh, were, were most cooperative. And the Chamber of Commerce, Diana, I couldn't have asked for a better uh, partner in, in, in getting this done and doing the work. Thank you. Uh, the volunteers who who worked today, the greeters the, at the registration desk, serving the food. I think you'll agree you've done an excellent job. Um, Dickie B for, for providing the, the prizes. Tim and Kevin, I've already said thank you. I'll say thank you again. The speakers, outstanding. Um, all of you. Um, Kathy, uh, Foodland. Uh, we got the food from Foodland. I think they did uh, uh, an excellent job with that. They're a great resource and very supportive of community things in the village. Uh, the Innisfil Journal, Rick, the editor, uh, gave us a lot of publicity. The examiner, Miriam King, was here. She'll be doing a write-up on this. I, Miriam? Yeah, I think she's gone now. But um, They did an article too. They were cooperative with that. The film crew. The film crew are, are going to put this together and make this <coughs> available to the uh, to the general public on, on the website of the uh, Chamber of Commerce so we can share this, what we did today with, with everybody uh, who's interested. Uh, uh, TV, community TV did a, a program on uh, uh, last Monday that maybe some people saw and uh, we did a little interview, Diana and I, and, uh, and that helped too. So we've had a lot of help, a lot of help. But most of all, I want to thank you all for coming. It's just uh, rewarding that y you came out and you made a success. And so thank you, thank you, thank you.
I can just, if I could just have one more second. Uh, this is, it's, it's all Roger. He says thank you to the chamber, but he, it's his vision. He brought it to us. So uh, he has lived and breathed heritage. And he's so passionate about it. And that's what makes it really exciting to work with him. So a big thank you for Roger. Thank you.